welcome to a development video for Act on Deep Descent. As our transition to Unreal Engine 4 is in progress, we will briefly talk about the many things the technology allows us when combined with knowledge. In this video, we are going to be talking about the overall philosophy behind our world building techniques and a couple of basic primary things that we use in order to improve and speed up our production. When working with large-scale worlds, such as the world of Aquinox Deep Descent, which is going to be pseudo-open world, it's very important for us to create a set of assets that we can use in a multitude of ways. For example, uh, cliffs that automatically generate sand on top and that are also dynamic and react dynamically to lighting effects. When creating these assets we paid a lot of attention so that they blend together very well so that all when placed in the world there are no actual seams, there are no shadow seams and that they look good together regardless of where they are placed, how they are scaled. focus on creating these dynamic assets so that when used in different places we can achieve different results such as the sand bank that we are showing here. This is going to happen all in real time so when ships come near these areas they blow away the sand and over time the sand can come back. This can be used for exploration or finding different loot that can be hidden under sand. This same technique can be used when creating ice, for example, so that it can be scaled and its texture not being stretched, for it to be using dynamic lighting effects, subsurface scattering, thus resulting in a immersive game for the player. We put a lot of emphasis on creating our environments all by hand. This is because this way we have a lot more creativity involved, we have a lot more control over the detail, and we can implement a lot of interesting small things that otherwise in the procedural environments would not be possible. This includes everything from asset placement to terrain and all the foliage detail that will be visible in the game, as well as all the bases and all different kind of environments that will be available. We are also putting a lot of emphasis in creating assets that can be used multiple times so that all of our environments are optimized since obviously we plan to create larger environments. Another thing that we plan to use is actual height map data from the real world so that we can create a base layout for some of the environments uh, and entirely up to scale as well as different kind of coloration which can be changed real time so that there is always some variations to be explored. All in all, with this combination we can create really expansive worlds for the player to explore. <laughs> 